My name is Eric Fowler, Education Manager here at White Labs, and today we're going to be talking about breakfast stouts. Now, when you hear breakfast beers or breakfast stouts, you're probably thinking any stout I have for breakfast, right? In this case, we've got an oatmeal stout from White Labs Brewing Co. that's been infused with locally roasted small batch coffee. We've utilized the same wort with two different yeast strains, and we're going to be trying these side by side to see is coffee the dominant character we're getting from this or does yeast actually have an impact on the way we're perceiving adjuncts like coffee? For the first beer we're gonna try is the breakfast stout with WLP 013 London Ale Yeast. The base beer is a pretty standard oatmeal stout. So primarily domestic two row with a little bit of oats, midnight wheat, some caramel malt, and some roasted malts, along with a traditional English hop variety. If you want to check out the scaled down recipe for a five gallon batch, um, look at the link in the description. But what we're most interested here is to see how the coffee interacts with these two different yeast strains. The aromatics of the London Ale are pretty straightforward of what you'd expect out of an oatmeal stout. You get a lot of milk chocolate, uh, some toffee, a nutty character, but you get almost a medium roast coffee that just reminds you that this beer is great to be consumed any time of the day. The second beer of the two is the WLP 066 London Fog Ale Yeast. Now, most of you might know this yeast strain as being used in hazy or highly hopped beers. It's known to be pretty expressive and put out a lot of citrus-like aromatics, so I'm interested to see how it's gonna do in a dark beer with a very powerful adjunct like coffee. Wow, I mean, I initially get this big berry note that I didn't really get in the first example. I get a candied orange like citrus aromatic, but really backed up by a light roast coffee. So the aromatics of the coffee and the fruitiness really go hand in hand with the fruitiness of the yeast. This beer coming in at 6.1% ABV compared to the 6.2% of the first one, doesn't really taste any sweeter or any drier than the first example. They go pretty hand in hand, but you do get emphasized body in the London Fog Ale Yeast, which is pretty interesting. So what did we learn from producing two coffee breakfast stouts with two different yeast strains? We learned that, well, we've got two pretty tasty beers that we can drink any time of day. But more importantly, we learned that the quality of coffee matters a lot because that's gonna be very influential to the resulting beer. But not only that, the yeast strain you choose will impact the way that coffee is perceived. So not only the way that you infuse it is gonna be impactful, but the other ingredients, and more specifically the yeast strain, is going to possibly accentuate some fruity notes of the coffee, or really focus on the chocolate roastiness. So we always suggest experimenting, learn from what we've been able to produce, and enjoy what you're brewing. Cheers. Thank you.